so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hello, friends! It's me, Blippi! Today, we're visiting animals! Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on! So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh. And they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow! Oh! Whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada, <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then, the bear can enjoy it. Let's go! Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So, if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, Maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. <laughs> yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right, let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And the watermelon! Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good! All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out, there's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. 
Good job! Let's check them out! Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow. Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. Check it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa. Yeah, looks like bananas. Yum. I like bananas too. Whoa. Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa. Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf, but if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet and look how big she is. Whoa! Looks like she's just doing some stretches. 
That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Wow, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. video we're seeing real wolves and learning about all different kinds of animals let's go so much to learn about it'll make you want to shout blippy hello it's me blippy and today i'm at predators of the heart wolf encounters in anacortes washington <laughs> this place is awesome i heard they have a lot of cool animals here like sloths <laughs> Tortoises, <laughs> alligators, <laughs> of course, wolves, oh, 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 and a lot of other cool animals. I am so excited to learn about all these animals with you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> That was a howling wolf. Whoa, hey. Wow, check it out. Whoa, these wolves. Whoa, that is so cool. These wolves' names are Kakoa. Good job, Kakoa. <laughs> and that one right there, yeah, his name is Max. And the people up there, that's Ashley up there with Kakoa. And that is Holly. Whoa! Hey, 
Did you think that these wolves kind of look like dogs? I know! I did too! But hey, let me tell you, dogs and wolves are different species, but they're actually both what's called canines! Yeah! Well hey, wolves are pretty smart. They can actually hear a human from 10 miles away. Whoa! That is really far away! And they can smell a human from two miles away. Wow! Look at them! They're so cool looking. Wow! They look nice and soft up there. Whoa! That is so cool. Check them out! <laughs> Wolves actually have about 30% larger brains than dogs. Yeah, gray wolves, they can bite two times harder than dogs. Wolves have babies one time a year. Yeah, and the babies, they actually can't see or hear when they're babies and they're the size of a pop can. <laughs> That's so small. Wolves live in what's called wolf packs. Woo hoo! Yeah, there's about two to 30 wolves in a wolf pack. Wow, so cool. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a sloth. Hello, hey. Whoa, do you see how slow he's moving? Wow, he's moving so slow. Actually, sloths can actually swim pretty fast. They swim three times faster than what they move on land or climbing in trees. <laughs> hey, are you hungry? Look at what I brought. Ooh, a grape. Here you go. Are you hungry? Here you go. Oh, nice and gentle. Whoa, do you see its teeth? Their teeth are so sharp. Yeah, they're razor sharp. Hey. And check these out over here. Here's another one. Whoa! Here's a second sloth. Hey! Whoa! How are you? Here you go. Are you hungry? Do you want a grape? Yum! You love your fruits, huh? Oh, he's using his hand. These are actually two toed sloths. Whoa! Hey, and look at this one down here. Whoa! What are you? all the way down here. <laughs> You're just climbing. You want to try a grape? Here you go. Oh, maybe this one's not hungry. We'll go back to this one over here. <laughs> oh, the first one seemed really hungry. All right, see you soon. <laughs> here you go, buddy. Whoa, you are so cute. Look at its toes. Yeah, the toenails. Whoa. Looks like they're really long and curled, so then it can hang on things like branches and trees. Whoa! All right, see you again. Bye bye! Whoa! Check it out! It looks like we have four tortoises. We have one, two, three, Four tortoises! Whoa! And this one over here is so big! Hey! How are you? Hey! My name's Blippi! Whoa! This is a Selkata tortoise! Whoa! And it is so big! Yeah, they can actually get a hundred pounds and a hundred years old! But this one's actually 20 years old! Whoa! He's so big still though! Whoa! And this one over here. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> this one is another Selkata tortoise. Here, check this out. I'll rotate him around so then you can see him. Oh, hey! <laughs> this Selkata tortoise is actually five years old, <laughs> so he's a lot smaller. Oh, and here's two more over here. Whoa, do you see these? These look a little different. Here, let me turn them around. Here you go. Yeah, this is a red-footed tortoise. Whoa, are you going to your friend over here? All these tortoises have shells that are really hard that then 
they can curl up a little bit inside to help protect them. Whoa, look at you go, you're so fast. Whoa. All right, check this out. Oh, hey. All right, I'm gonna pick him up and see how heavy he weighs. All right. Whoa. Ah, whoa! Wow! That was so heavy! <laughs> whoa! You are a good boy. I love tortoises. Whoa! Check it out! This is Salvador! Whoa, he is so unique looking. Look at his head. It's so long and skinny. Wow, it's long and skinny because then it allows for him to go inside anthills with his face and his mouth. Bye-bye. <laughs> Anteaters can actually eat 30,000 ants a day and they spend about 30 seconds per anthill. Whoa, here he comes. Yeah, they actually only spend 30 seconds per anthill, so then the ants don't crawl on them and get attacked. Yeah! Wow, what smart creatures. Whoa, their eyesight actually isn't that good, but their smell is great. Whoa, Salvador, you like your lunch? Yeah! <laughs> Check it out. This is a groundhog, and it looks like he's eating a banana. Whoa, so cute. Groundhogs are really cool because they actually go into hibernation. Yeah, that means they hang out inside, underground, during wintertime when it's cold. But then springtime, they come on out, see the sun. Whoa, hey. And actually, their burrows, yeah, they go in different directions, kind of like an anthill for 66 yards in different directions. That's about 200 feet. Hey, buddy, do you want another banana? Here you go. Oh, here you go. I'll set that right there for you for later. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Go bean. Whoa! Check it out. This is a porcupine. There you go, bean. Whoa! Yeah, do you see bean's quills? Wow! Yeah, porcupines have spikes. Yeah, quills. And actually, they can't shoot them out like what you might think they can. What they do is first they release a smell. And if the predator doesn't get scared, then it puffs up and then it'll back into the predator or maybe the predator will attack it and that's its defensive mechanism. Whoa, hey Bean, do you like that banana? <laughs> yeah, Bean was actually found in a bean patch. <laughs> Whoa, hey Bean. Whoa, so cute. <laughs> well, porcupines are so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna pet Bean today. Yeah, because Bean is enjoying his banana. <laughs> See ya! Oh, did you see that? This box just moved. Hmm, I'm not seeing an animal anywhere else. Wait a second, I wonder if there's an animal under this box. <laughs> One way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, check it out. This is a giant hairy armadillo. Whoa, hey, how are you? Yeah, her name is Wren. Whoa, she is so cute. Look how big she is. She is so active. Yeah, armadillos typically roll into a ball to protect themselves. Yeah, like that. But actually, giant hairy armadillos can't do that. Whoa, look at her. What they do for protection is they dig in the ground. Yeah, dig holes. That's called burrowing. Whoa, and she loves to eat insects. Whoa, she is so cool. Maybe I can pet her. 
This is a blue and gold macaw. Macaw! Macaw! <laughs> wow! She is so pretty! Look at her colors! Wow! Blue and yellow. Gold! Oh, hey! And then look! Looks like she has some green on her head. Hey! Wow! And look at that sharp beak. <laughs> wow! Hasn't this been fun learning about all these animals today? Yeah! It was so much fun at Predators of the Heart Wolf Encounters in Anacortes, Washington. Whoa! I sure did have a lot of fun learning about animals with you. Thanks for coming along. Well, this is the end of this video though. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me, Angel? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Today, I'm at PD Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Whoa, look at this place. Whoa, it's so cool. Yeah, we're in the back. Yeah, this is called a kitchen. Oh, and look at what it is. Wow, look at it. <laughs> wow, this is an apron. Ooh, check it out. Look at those flowers. Yeah, this apron is going to help keep me nice and clean when I bake. Yep, I sure ate a lot of vegetables today. Yep, and now that I ate a bunch of healthy food, we can have something yummy and sweet. I am so excited. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, look at this place. Whoa, there's so many cool things. Yeah, like a measuring cup. Yeah, you can put things in there and then know how much of an ingredient you have exactly in this measuring cup. Whoa, or a giant spoon. Whoa, you can stir a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, whoa, and look at this. Yeah, a spatula. Boing, <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna set it right there for now. Whoa, looks like we have some vinegar. Yum. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, come on. Whoa, a giant sink. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> this is where I clean a lot of dishes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, speaking of cleaning dishes. Whoa, hello. Look, this is a dishwasher. You put a lot of dirty dishes right here and then you close it down. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. This is a stove top. Whoa, you can cook so much food right here. Whoa, there's so many stove tops. Whoa, do you see the little fire right there? Yeah, this is not a toy. You need to be very careful when you're cooking. <laughs> sweet treats. Wow, these are macarons and they look so yummy. Look at this one. This one is the color red. Whoa, looks like we have some green and some blue and some orange. Whoa, look, I'll grab an orange and a blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. Ah. Oh. I'll eat these later. 
Whoa, we have some black sesame cookies. Yum. Woo, and some ube cookies. Yum, check these out. Open these up. Wow, what color is that? Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, there's no food coloring in this. That, yeah, that is the color of the food that was added into this cookie. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, we'll put that right there for me to eat later. <laughs> Whoa, look at these cute things. Looks like, what animal is that? Yeah. Moo, moo. Yeah, a cow. Woo, a vanilla cake. Yeah, flippy party cake. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -I. Flippy, yeah. And a triple chocolate cake. That looks so yummy. Well, hey, maybe you and I can cook and bake some of this. Yeah, how about today we make some macarons? Yeah! Whoa, check it out. I'm washing my hands and I'm scrubbing them for 20 seconds. Yeah, do you know how long 20 seconds is? Yeah, it's about the same length as when you sing the ABCs. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's rinse them all off. Wow, oh, nice and clean now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Shut off the water. Oh, wow. And now I'm ready to make some delicious treats. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the baker for Fanny Bakery. Whoa, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are some ingredients for some macarons. Ooh, well, what do we have here? Well, first we have eggs, and we have almond flour, we have sugar, and we have an important ingredient called salt. And when you eat it, it's really salty, but when you put it in desserts, it actually makes it sweeter and tastier. Ooh, that sounds so yummy! And you said almond flour. Why are we using that rather than all-purpose flour? So almond flour is special because when you put it in macarons, it makes it less sticky than flour and makes it really light. Wow, that is so cool. Well, hey, do you mind if I mix all these ingredients? Yeah, how about you throw all the ingredients into a bowl and throw it into the mixer, and I'll go get the oven ready. Okay. Woohoo! All right, let's mix all the ingredients together, and then we'll put it in the mixer. <laughs> all right. First, let's uh, add the salt. Perfect. And then we'll add the sugar. And then the almond flour. Whoa! Hey, check it out! A small bowl, medium, and large. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and for the eggs. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably have to break them open. All right, here we go. <laughs> now I'm going to go put it in the mixer. Yeah! Whoa! Hey! Check it out! This is a massive mixing machine! Whoa! Look how big it is! There's a giant whisk right here. Wow! Looks like there's a green on button, a red stop button, and a big bowl for me to add all the ingredients. All right, here we go! Pour it in. Looks like we already made some earlier. Yeah, this is gonna be a big batch. <laughs> all right, now that all the ingredients are in there, we need to make sure that the cover is closed. We need to raise up the bowl. There we go. And now we need to turn this to the on position. 
There we go. And we'll push the green start button in three, two, one. Yeah! Look at it mix! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! The batter is finished! Whoa! This is a big bowl! Okay, the next step that we need to do, yeah, is take some of this batter and put it inside these piping bags. Yeah! What shape is this piping bag? Oh, yeah! It looks like a triangle! Perfect! And do you see how you open it up? Yeah, and that's where you put all the batter. But hey, check it out! Yeah, we have some batter already in a piping bag. Woohoohoo! <laughs> okay, Jennifer, now that we have the batter in the piping bags, what do we do now? Well, first we need to cut the bag. Okay. 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 Perfect. And we're going to make some cow macarons. Oh! To do that, first, you're going to need one big circle. Okay. We're going to make cow macarons. And we need a big circle for, is that the head? That's going to be the head, yeah. Okay. And then we need two small circles on the top for its ears. Okay. That is not how I want to. <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, the head and then two ears. Here, let me try. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's just like that. And then one ear, two ears. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be one great cow. <laughs> okay, do we fill it up now? Yeah, let's fill up the whole pan. All right, let's do it. Yeah! So much fun! <laughs> yeah, now that we're done, why don't you throw them into the oven for 20 minutes and I'll get the buttercream ready. Okay! Alright, so I need to throw these in the oven for 20 minutes! Whoa! Alright, so I'm gonna put on these safety gloves. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Here we go! Wow! I used my safety gloves because ovens are not a toy. You need to be very careful. Okay, what did Jennifer say? She said 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time to wait. But wait a second, you know what I like to do when I wait? Yeah, I like to dance, woohoo! means that they're probably done. <laughs> yeah! Let's open it up and then see the macarons. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! That is hot! Whoa! And they look so yummy! Wow! Check it out! Now it's time to decorate. looks like so much fun. Hey, can I try? Sure, Blippi. You want to give it a try? Sure. Okay. Uh, well, looks like we have three colors here. We have black, and then, uh, looks like we have white, and then looks like we have the color pink. Let's see. What are we making? Oh, yeah. Remember these from earlier? Yeah, a cow. A cute cow. 
Moo! <laughs> yeah, it has two eyes, has two ears, has some spots, and a really cute nose. <laughs> okay, let's put that down right here. And I'm gonna start with the black. All right, looks like I'll do two eyes. And we need to do the spots. Cute little hair thing on top. <laughs> okay, so now let me move to the color pink. <laughs> All right, looks like pink. We put it on the ears. And it's the base for the nose. Last but not least, the color white. <laughs> and we just put a little, uh-oh, I put a little too much. But that's okay. There we go. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, does that look like a cow? No! No! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on decorating. Whoa, check it out! Yeah, a blippy party cake. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Yeah, macarons. Yum, they're so tasty. What is this though? Yeah, does it look like my bow tie? Yeah, it's an orange blippy macaron bow tie. It looks so tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, well hey, check this out. I have two things of icing. My two favorite colors, blue and orange. And check it out. I have a flippy macron that's empty, no colors at all. So maybe, just maybe, we can use some of this icing to decorate it. So my normal bow tie is orange, but I'm actually gonna use some blue too. So let's just squirt some out. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's do a big dot there, do a big dot there. How about one right there? Oh, and one way over there. Whoa, that doesn't look like my bow tie, does it? No, that's okay though. Sometimes when you're being creative, yeah, actually all the times when you're being creative, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, like this. Woohoo! check it out. Whoa, yum, doesn't that look tasty? Yum, and hey, watch this. I'm gonna do another big blob yeah a blue oh i will just finish that all the way across there and then i'll put some orange on top of that wow now does that look tasty or does that look tasty yum <laughs> These are so tasty! Wow! That has been so much fun making all these sweet treats with you, hasn't it? Yeah! I want to give a special thanks to Jennifer at Peony Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Wow, she did such a good job and they are so yummy! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck with the hose and horns. Honk, 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 honk. 
and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life firefighter pole. Ooh. <laughs> hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> Hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Whew. And they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> hey, I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs? Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then, you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah! Come on, let's go. I'll see you there. <laughs> hey, we made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go, woohoo! This is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Whoa. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Whoa. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <sighs> it's so tasty. <laughs> hey. I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. Mm -mm. Okay, we got that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it. And sometimes spin it, whoa, <laughs> like this. And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look, it's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, put the pizza dough down. And now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. Oh, <laughs> I love pizza with lots of cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa, <laughs> and they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa, <laughs> woo, <laughs> do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions, ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious <gasps> and all done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box, come on.
<laughs> yeah! Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now, it's my favorite part. <gasps> we get to eat the pizza! <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Aw, <laughs> thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef. And making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats and we have Hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling, <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones to make sure they're not broken and this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its lip, so we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, look, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine here you go, puppy. Up, up, <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we want to do is we want to put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't want to take it off until he's all better. <laughs> <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we've got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome! Whoa, look at what it is! It's a fire truck! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, fire trucks are so cool! And look at this! It has really big wheels and tires! Whoa! <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. Yeah, this right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah, when a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the 
hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. <laughs> it's really, really, really powerful. To push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. Whoa, look at this. This is the fire pole. Whoa, the fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, and do you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet. And that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh. Whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah, this is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, adjustment valves. And look, it's really, really big so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah. Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. And we can help save people. But to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey, do you know what being brave means? Yeah, when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway because you're gonna help, help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! Look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah, being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Do you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah, bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah, these are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah, it's right under your skin. Bones are really important and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. <sighs> look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet, <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah, you can see all the different bones inside your hand. Whoa, and this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo. Hey, <laughs> whoa, that was
was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Whoa. <laughs> hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa, that means it's time for the Curiosity Corner, where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we wanna make a really cool orange, because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then you can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red and little bits of yellow and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Oops, looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious, and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. This fire truck and recycling truck Whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye. Shout